Hey, 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 what's up, guys? It's yet a wonderful, beautiful day tonight, and we bless the Lord for the drink of the day coming to you live from wherever you are watching us from. Guess what? Today we are back in the Holy Spirit bar. I believe you guys are checking out. We have a lot of bottles. We get to read scripture. Every bottle out here has a scripture, and we are so honored right away from Resurrection Life Church. Our pastors David and Amy Chambers, and guess what? Even today, we have a special edition from a bottle which has a scripture of the Lord. And I know as we drink and meditate upon this, we're going to be blessed. Uh, we want you to go ahead and like our different platforms. We have the Holy Spirit Bar, which is our YouTube channel and our Instagram channel. And Holy Spirit Bar, which is our Facebook account. So just go ahead and get, we need to get feedback from you. But first, check out this wonderful word. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Charles Mwanguzi. Your friend. Or your brother. And I love the Lord. And I am a and I'm a child of God. I'm from Resurrection Life Church. My pastor is David Chambade. And he loves all of you. But the most important thing is that God loves you most. Amen. Amen. Today let me speak about two things. The first is called the Spirit. And the other is the flesh. These things work together. But they don't coincide. The spirit works in the body. Because the spirit that I'm talking about is the spirit that comes from. And when he sits in you, when he's with you, he speaks to you the things about God. This spirit is the one that knows the things of God. He's the one that knows the heart of God. Now your job is his job is to inform you. And the other job is to perfect the will of God in you. Just as I told you that these two don't work together. The flesh wants some things. And even the spirit desires other things. But the spirit will never use force. Even though he could use force for you to do the right thing, but he would never do that. The spirit of the Lord is the spirit of peace. I'm speaking about the spirit that is within you. The one that tells you what to do next. Now the spirit desires things that are different. Just like I told you about the things of the flesh. But now let me try to explain this to you. Now this spirit, when he becomes big in you, is more powerful than the flesh. And the flesh gets attracted to do the things that have got. Because you have fed your spirit. Because you have taken care of your spirit. Because you have given him time. More than the days the time you give to the body. Now the desires of the body will not care about the things of the spirit. Because the body will tell you that I want to eat. I need this cloth. I need this pair of shoes. And you buy them and give it to the body. And then tomorrow you see something better. And the body will still tell you that I want that too. Even if you have money or not, the body still demands things. The body never gets satisfied. And even the things that you give it, and the things that do perish are the things that are not permanent. Now, just as I've told you that the Spirit is from God, 
And the day you die, God will come and take out His spirit. That is what they call the spirit. The spirit is what is going to meet God. It is going to be so dangerous. If you dedicate a lot of time to the body, and you nurture the body so much, and you love it so much, and you you forget about the spirits. Because in Luke 9.25, the Bible says that what shall it profit a man to eat the good things of this world and destroy their soul? Now I want you to pay attention to your spirit In the name of Jesus Accept your spirit to rule over the body Allow me to pray for you as I finish Father I thank you Because of my friend I have my brother That has been listening to me And has been watching me I pray that you bless them And give them the wisdom and understanding that they might take care of the spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen.